All right, finally, it does appear as though the garden is ready to harvest. I also picked up all of my seeds this morning and a few vegetables. So I'm gonna just do the harvest here real fast and then I'll go over to the mortar and pestle and make as much as I can for seeds. And then we'll come down here and see if we can fill up this garden. Gotta love the fact that the seed just stays planted in the ground so we can pretty much exponentially increase the size here. And having said all of that, we're actually running into a big problem and that's that I don't know how to craft almost all of the seeds. I crafted up some aloe, some corn, some mushroom seeds, or spores, potatoes, and blueberries, which is kind of good, but uh, nothing on tomatoes, carrots. But anyway, there it is, poorly organized, but eh, that's okay, who cares? Okay, so last night I did finally get the steel tools. We got the steel ax, the pickaxe, and the steel shovel as well. I'm very curious to see if I can one-shot topsoil blocks and regular soil blocks and maybe even one shot the stone blocks with this because it's still going to be a few days before we can use the auger and we'll have to make a whole trip out into the desert biome at New Jersey out to the west there to harvest up some oil shale. Still five minutes uh, left there on the chem station and I'm making some spotlights after that because I did somewhere find a battery bank so we'll hook that up to some batteries and we'll have some power for tonight. I can hear some company outside. All right, let's head down and have a little bit of a morning brawl. Okay, I think that's just about it. I did find a burning shaft mod last night when we went to that tier four passing gas. And so that is currently on Jason's machete, although you can't really tell. It's just kind of got a glow to it. Kind of an internal burning shaft. It does, however, give me a slight aura of light around me, which is kind of nice to have. It's quite dark here. A couple more over here, there we go. Got a whole bunch of extra machetes. Okay, what else did I do last night? I think I did some rearranging around here, so I've got stuff sort of more cleanly set against the wall here. Here's the player oven, and I put a battery in that so we can start doing our cooking in here. Although I'm reluctant to really do any cooking because things like carrots are so valuable. Here's my, uh, wait, working utility sink. Right, okay, so that's that's a storage unit there. So let's grab up all of the jars of water, or jars, and we'll, we'll make them into jars of water. I don't even think I would need that much water ever, but here we go. Oh, <laughs> that turned into regular pure water. That is nice. Okay, so with the 125 jars there, let's now grab up the 85 chrysanthemum. Come to the stove here and brew up 85, we'll do 84 uh, red teas here. I like to leave at least one of every item so it just makes packing the uh, inventory away a little bit easier. Okay, one thing I definitely wanted to do today is I want to, I'm going to reserve an inventory spot for the lock picks. It's definitely time to start rolling with those and probably I'll keep the crowbar on me for now, but oh, I probably get rid of the spear. I haven't been using that for days. Okay, so what else are we working on today? We need to definitely work on some more concrete mix. I am working on cement in the advanced forge after I get the steel. The steel that I'm rolling on right here will go into another advanced forge and that'll increase our output potential there. I think what I wanna do for this morning is uh, do some digging and construction out here. Okay, I've gathered up some supplies here. Let's have a look at what we need to do here because it's gonna be a little tricky with um, the sidewalk and this uh, driveway portion or whatever this is here because I want to definitely have a moat uh, that basically that controls where the zombies are able to go. I would like them to, when they fall off of a fighting position area like this, to fall down but not, I don't want them to circle back and like have a ramp to get out this way because that just increases the amount of time that they're kind of facing me. So what I would much rather have is for them to have to go underneath the base and cycle out over here and go all the way around so that, you know, they're just not close to me at any given time. Let's start off by seeing how <laughs> effective my shovel is. It's working. Okay, we've got one shot uh, hits here, one shot to destroy the clay soil. And let's just test and see. Let's get down to the stone layer here and see how the pickaxe is operating. Please, please, one shot. Well, definitely not, but two shots even is um, is as good as I could ask for. As long as it's not three, right? It's super frustrating when you get it down to like 
you know, 13 hit points left and you gotta do that third whack. Alright, so, we're gonna dig this down to the stone and we're gonna take one layer off of the stone. That'll be, I think, as far as I need to go. No, I think I need to go one further, so maybe we'll aim to take two off of the stone. I need the stone anyway. And I'm gonna wrap the trench all the way around this way and we're gonna completely dig all of this stuff out here. We'll start down here at this corner. Let's begin. I think that just about does it for the clay soil digging. I'll have to dig in a little bit more so that I can set in a nice flush wall for some of these places here, but for the most part, that is, um, I'd say that's about 85% or so of the resource extraction that needs to take place around here in the pit. And damn, that was a full day of work and I am hungry as can be. And I don't even know if I can get out of here. <laughs> I gotta make a ladder here. Yeah, and of course we can't leave it like this because the zombies are just gonna carve right straight through that. So we will have to flush up these towers all the way to the ground and make sure it's all cobblestone. But it's definitely time to take a little bit of a break here, make sure that we're working on resources and crafting. Okay, there's our chem station. Got some zombies here somewhere. Hello? Okay, I think it's a lumberjack by the sound of it. What you doing there, buddy? A feral lumberjack, too. Oh, ow! It's hard. Alright, what do we got for food here? We have... Ooh, meat stew. Perfect time to take it, too, because my, my food's down to 12. I'm literally about to starve to death here. And, uh, yeah, we'll just... We, we can drink whatever we want. We, we have so much water. In fact, uh, the... Oh, my... Look at the red tea. Yes. All right, and we are doing really well on resources right now. That was half the reason to do all that was to get a lot of stone so that we can make concrete and you know there's a there's a whole lot of concrete that we're gonna need for this base here and then steel and then titanium and then oh, i think that's it okay i now have the steel for the advanced forge but i don't have the electrical parts and i would really rather not disassemble a whole bunch of things inside my base here so let's head next door and do a little bit of scrapping oh and of course it's raining which just makes it even worse here's a, a light post that's not working that's three we have a 17 to go and that's all we need. And suddenly it's like way brighter out. Oh, well, it's a half moon. All right, advanced forge, craft that. Maybe, maybe don't craft that for just a second here because I have a couple of skill points. I do kind of want to take one into minor 69er. Um, well, that's just in, in really, the only important thing that's doing for us is increasing the harvest count, I think. Yeah, I'll take that anyway. But the next one, I think I'll try to take into quicker crafting. Where's that? There it is right there. I have one into it so far. Let's take another. That's uh, decreasing crafting and scrapping time by 20%, which puts us at 22 minutes for the advanced forge. And it looks like, yeah, we'll also need a crucible, anvil, and advanced bellows for the new forge. Anvil, bellows, and a new crucible. Let's proceed with setting up some electricity. How about battery bank here next to the main loot? And we'll do a spot. We'll do three spotlights. One, two, three. Drop in the batteries, turn on, and... Uh, What's the power draw? How long do you think this is gonna last for? I don't think that's gonna last very long until all the batteries lose their charge, but it should last enough for tomorrow night, horde night. Just point these down slightly. Ah, crap, barrel cadaver over here. Get out of here. Oh wow, that actually shines into the base quite well. I have these extra light bulbs here too that I was gonna set up, but I, you don't, you don't really need it, but I'm gonna set them up anyway. Okay, there we go, drop that in and hopefully, I'll, I'll wire these up a little bit better when I get the final sort of electrical f configuration in because um, we're not going to be able to use the battery bank for very long. It's just kind of like a one night deal. Uh, I just don't have the, I can make a generator, but I don't have the gas, of course. And, you know, until we make a big trip out for oil shale, I'm not going to really commit to using the gasoline for anything other than the motorcycle. Look at my food. It went up to 73 with that meat stew, man. That is a good meat stew. I'll take a bacon and egg to top myself off 
and I think what I'll work on until daylight is just I'll continue doing a little bit of digging down here and trying to get um, these towers kind of flushed up to the ground because right now it's uh, not looking very stable. Oh, but then again, the, the lighting's not terrible down here now. Could be worse. Nah, no, I'll let you get some rest. Go ahead and get some sleep and uh, I'll catch up with you first thing in the morning. Okay, and I think that just about does it down here. Well, do you think I should probably... I should probably dress these ones up as well <laughs> until you run out of resources and that's about it for that. Well, we'll have to come down here and do some more work later on today anyway, but for now, um, what am I doing now? <laughs> I don't quite know. Uh, we got to do some massive repairs here as well, but yeah, I, I'm starting to see like the further you kind of dig them down, I think the more out of range I will get for them. So I might consider continuing to just peel this down layer by layer until like, we get to a point where the demons and zombies um cops and such are not sort of spitting up at us because i'm pretty sure they're just going to be spitting right at the floor there where we're standing and also yeah we got to get a way for them to get out of here at least temporarily i'm not going to have the time or the resources right now to kind of finish this project up but yeah this is where i want the exit for them to be right here Okay, it's three wide. It's a little bit messy, but I think it'll get the job done. I just want to get the zombies out from underground, because otherwise I think they'll probably just target supports here, and that would be... Well, they're going to target the supports anyway, but uh, we don't want them to do it any more than they normally would. Okay, that should get the job done for tonight. For now, I think we need to focus probably a little bit more on some upgrades around here and then making some concrete so we can do up this fighting position a little bit better and also the secondary and tertiary positions too and one more iron door, that's right. All right, I can start making some more concrete mix. That'll be plenty for tonight, I think. Let's make sure we turn the generator off so we have plenty of battery power for tonight. Oh, it seems like we're doing pretty good. I don't think we've lost too much draw on those batteries, but turn it off anyway. And yeah, we're gonna have to work on some spikes up here too. So that seemed to work pretty well last time. Let's just get cranking on a few of those while we're away today. Oh, you know what we're gonna need here today is uh, Molotovs. I don't know that I have any Molotovs. I have 11, which is not bad. I have some grenades as well, but I'd like to have... Um, a lot more. Let's work on that. All right, here we go. First thing to make in the new chem station is new grain alcohol. I have five. Okay, that's going to take a little bit. So I'll get um, I'll get a few going. Molotovs will be like five. Yeah. Okay, they're really quick to craft. And can't I craft them in the inventory? I can't. So as long as I just grab the materials here, I'll even put the stuff to make Molotovs right in here. So it's all together. Okay, what is next? You know what? I think I need to go see Trader Wrecked because Trader Wrecked sells seeds and we'll do a little bit of a sell off while we're there. And he also might, I don't know if he'll like train me on how to make seeds because I really need to learn how to make like carrot and tomato seeds. I just thought before I left, I will grab the 120 something oil shale and make myself some gas. In fact, ooh, that's, that's a decent amount of gas. I might wait for that before I leave. All right, here we go. The gasoline is done. Let's fill this up. We are up to 50% fuel, a half a tank. <laughs> that ain't half bad. All right, let's go see Wrecked. All righty, here we are. Oh, looks like Wrecked has done some repairs to his compound. The lazy bastard. Good for him. All right, Wrecked. Yeah, I see that hey, you've yeah, um, restocked your place too, and the scout has been relocated over here, you? which is nice. Didn't I have a thing to turn into you though? No, I don't. Can you teach me to be a better crafter though? Oh my goodness. I did not realize that this is how this worked. So I could actually save skill points, just use dukes, and uh, learn how to be a better crafter. Hmm. Oh, if I was gonna start crafting stuff, I feel like I've just been finding stuff, you know, really reliably. I've only wanted to really craft tools, but rifle crafting might be nice, because I, I, I am kind of liking having the rifle, but really, you know, tack AR is probably the better way to go, automatic gun crafting. Can you teach me how to do that? Auto gun crafting. I think that's the one right there. Whoop, that was uh, <laughs> no confirmation there. Just instant. Can you teach me level two? No, I don't think so. We just got the level one there. So like one little free skill point, not too bad. I'll take a job from you. Oh, restore powers. Yeah, I don't want to do those. <laughs> Let's do the tier two lady you killer and a traitor wrecked. I will grab a job from you just just to have it on hand, you know, a tier two buried supplies. <laughs> you know, we could do that really quickly, probably faster than these other jobs. And that infested clear there. Hey, jerk. Wait a minute. Where is that? A passing gas. 
Hmm, okay, okay, yeah, I guess I could do that instead. That sounds a little bit more fun. And the whole reason we're here is to do this little sell-off. All right, we've sold everything. Let's grab up eggs, blueberries. Is tomato juice? Ooh, that is good for wellness, sure. Take both of those. Apple pie, good for wellness. Blueberry seed, pumpkin seed, potato seed. Vegetable stew recipe. I suppose we could try to craft some of that. Oh, he's got 16 Molotovs for two grand. No brainer. Orange juice, that's good for a little bit of wellness. Got powder because it's cheap and I guess that's just about it yep we're into the stuff that I sold him okay I'm feeling pretty good about that Shit, lots man, of good food good, I'll read the vegetable stew recipe How <laughs> shush <laughs> wrecked oh geez that guy um what is it vegetable stew oh and yes it's because it's a stew I bet it'll do that thing where it expands in your stomach and okay potato corn mushrooms bowl of water uh, or you could swap the mushrooms for carrots, uh, or you could use uh, the campfire and use clean water. Okay, so it's, it's an interesting combination of recipes. It doesn't, it's not really helpful to me because I really, I can't um, sustainably farm carrots yet. Maybe we should go swing by the other trader while we're kind of, you know, doing the tr trader run thing. Uh, oh, oh, wait a minute. Or we could just uh, pop down here to this tier two infestation. It's super close. Um, well, let's check what time it is. I'm getting a little bit nervous now. It looks like it's about mm, noontime, 11 o'clock maybe? Uh, 10 o'clock. Oh, it's almost 11. It's 1049. We have plenty of time. I'm gonna head over and do the infestation, then we'll go north. We'll hit the lady killer. We'll check on Trader Hugh. Maybe we'll do Silence of the Lambs. We'll swing back to the horde base, do some final upgrades, and fend off the day 14 horde. That's the plan and I'm sticking to it. All right, here we go. Oh, this is like a little tiny passing gas. Shouldn't be too big of a deal here. Too big of a deal here. Fuel pumps are out of order as usual. Let's hit it. Check this vending machine here. A little bit of, a couple snacks in there. Oh, I woke some people up. Close that door. <laughs> that didn't last long, did it? Get out of here. Just a couple ferals so far. Oh, there's that guy. I was gonna say I heard someone creeping up on me there. All right, we proceed. Okay, what we could do... Crap, I'm not... I'm not carrying explosives on me these days. However, I am carrying Molotovs on me at the moment. Wake up! There's a... Ooh, tough zombie biker. Okay, come straight over here and get lit on fire then. That'll soften everyone up. And then I'm gonna just hide out here let him cook for a second yep here they come here they come oh run that biker moves fast okay up here please zombie biker just came straight up with me okay they're at least bleeding i think Ooh, that does nothing this is a bad gun holy crap he's fast get out of here man they're right behind me okay we're, we're doing okay here just just stand and fight hold ow it hurts so bad i'm bleeding oh geez Put something on. I'm also concussed and I'm infected. <laughs> okay, okay. As nice as it is to have Jason's machete, I, I it just it doesn't really work against bikers. Got an airdrop coming in here somewhere. Oh my god, way off there. No, thank you. Oh god, that's the second time that a radiated biker has just almost wiped the floor, or has wiped the floor with me, and we're not even done here. Hey, a yucca smoothie there. That's good for. Oh, uh, no. I don't know if. If that's good for wellness or not, can't tell. Oh great, and there's a freaking horde here. <laughs> I can't get a break. Uh, do I have anything that can patch me up a little bit or make me run faster or freaking anything? I don't know, not really. Orange juice, that, oh geez. Orange juice doesn't seem to do very much. Okay guys, come on over here. Jeez, this is a freaking big horde, oh crap. No oh, crap, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying! We've gotta do a tactical retreat here! Whoa! That was terrible! Oh my god. Trying not to leave the boundary of the quest here, but um, we might have to just flee at this rate. Whoa, look out! Cops are spitting. Okay, I tried to draw them all over to me thinking I could just take them right out. I cannot just take them right out. Jason's machete, not good enough for that. Holy crap, there's more over there. Oh boy, they're behind me! Ah! Tommy! Not today, buddy. Ah! Oh, okay, 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 I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I'm done with this. Holy crap. Yeah, just run him down! Okay, um, I'm relatively safe again. I keep going back and forth about whether I'm gonna just run away or or what. I'm, I'm out of bandages! 
I think we should just leave. Well, I'm not known for my wise decision making, so I guess I'm gonna stick this out until the very end. Okay, well, as long as I can kind of just do this one at a time here, roughly, I'm, I'm relatively confident we can pull this off. Yeah, okay, go ahead and spit at me. And then we're gonna draw him over a little bit. Here we go, here we go. Take that. Okay, ooh, that's a rice milk schematic. Oh, it doesn't help that I'm, I feel like I'm moving really slow. I'm not encumbered, am I? Why am I moving so slow? Is it my concussion? Does that reduce my run speed? <laughs> yeah, that whole thing I said about that's the plan and I'm sticking to it. That's out the window. I'm doing this and I'm freaking going home. Oh, we got a tough businesswoman over there. Okay, oh, 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 get flanked a little bit here. Oh crap, I'm radiated. And there's more running after me. And I'm bleeding, and I can't fix that right now. Ah, run him down! Okay, okay, um, I'm gonna bleed to death here for sure. Nope, nope, I'm down to eight hit points. Okay, and with that, I'm getting the hell out of here. I quit. I'm gonna fail the mission, but that is fine with me. I will just mark this over here. Um, failed quest, because I think those loot bags will stay there. And so maybe someday I'll swing back through there and see if I can snag those up. Okay, I've made it safely back to Trader Rex. Sorry, man. Can I help Jeez, you? that was that was just crazy. I couldn't do it. Sorry. Uh, maybe some other time, I guess. Okay, I definitely need to see if I can purchase some antibiotics, some bandages, a painkiller, and just immediately take all of that. I wonder if all that it, that must have damaged my wellness a little bit. So. Yeah, okay, tr we'll try to avoid that kind of stuff in the future. Wow. How about we go do the Lady Killer? That's a tier two, so that could be kind of deadly as well, but I, I'm feeling a little bit better about doing that than I am the, uh, the whole infested clear thing with a friggin' wandering horde at the same time. Okay, it should be right here somewhere. There it is. All right, let's hit it. See what we get here. We, we've got just a lot of regular zombies, I think. Nothing too serious here. Nothing too serious, and yet I'm immediately freaking bleeding. Ah, crap. Okay, do I have anything I can scrap to make into a bandage then? I don't want to do that. Oh yeah, scrap that suit jacket. Is that going to give you cloth and then bandage and apply? Apply, apply, apply. I'm not bleeding anymore. Okay, wow. Down to 20 hit points again. Jeez, getting very overconfident. Is it my armor? Does my armor suck? It does suck, but I, I should... I just need to get better. Get good, right? Okay, next stop is Trader Hugh. Well, that... I am just having a great time today here. <laughs> Trying to get some lunch on my way through. Nearly bought the farm. Gotta remember, I... One shot, it's one shot kill right now, basically. Don't even crash the motorcycle. Oof. I'm not copping out, though. I got more lunch over here. And more lunch over there, too. All right, here we go. All right, oh, no scout. Wow, that must have been a serious What's breakup. Let's check on his inventory then. Unfortunately, we won't get any first aid here, but I have plenty back at home. Oh, he's got 15 Molotovs too. I think that's a really good use of money because they're they're not the easiest things to craft. I'll take your lantern and hey, I'll take your electric fence posts as well. I think I can hook them up for the horde tonight. Otherwise, I don't see anything that I particularly need. So well, let's go home and heal up. All right, what do we got for medicine here? Painkillers, first aid kits. <laughs> And honestly, not much else that I'm kind of low on first aid here. Can I even make bandages? I can make the sterile bandage. That's going to take bowls of sap and bandages. I cannot make the first aid bandage. That is a physician perk. And if I remember correctly, physician is a part, yep, of the scientist class. So that's locked. Speaking of that, though, we should get a writing table. There we go, writing desk, 10 seconds. There's my spikes and a couple Molotovs. Okay, first thundercrack, which means it's basically it's time to go do some work out there and get the horde base ship shape. Okay, I just got myself a lantern from the trader. I'm just gonna drop that in here for now. All right, we got four electric fence posts, so we can set in the first set right here. Gonna need an iron door. There's the writing table. Just, you know, set that anywhere for, for now. Okay, grab up the repair materials here and should have a little bit of mix that rolled in over here. Good. All right, let's just beef up these positions here. And same thing over here, although... 
I'm gonna go easy on this side because we're gonna need to have a couple hundred here just for repairs. So this will be like the, the Alamo position over here. We will try to keep them at this position, if not at this one. And um, let's run a line off of this to uh, to get these juiced up. And let's go turn that on and just check the power draw. Turn on, we are at 50 out of 75. That's pretty much perfect, okay. Gotta set up the spikes up here. I'm gonna be very liberal with him this time. We have a whole bunch of extra, and uh, by the looks of it, we if we needed this many on day seven, we're gonna need even more here on day 14. Okay, that ought to do it for tonight. All right, I'm gonna put my mix away because I don't want to accidentally use any of it. Oh, there's some more rolling right there. Let's just see if I can get... Oh, I don't have any sand. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, let's try to just roll on a little bit of sand here. And I'm just gonna hop outside and um, start conducting some repairs and upgrades down here. Oh man, I didn't get nearly as much work done down here as I was hoping I could get done. It's gonna have to hold. It's gonna have to hold or fall. I, I think we have enough redundancy that we should be okay. Okay, forgot to do some repairs over here and just pull up these corner ones for now because they're not gonna do much if I can't upgrade them. Oh yeah, and remember we had these these plates on the outside here? This uh, helped a little bit, so I'm gonna replace them. All right, it is far from perfect, but I'm confident that this will get the job done for tonight. Okay, sand is done, work on mix again. 11 minutes, so if we absolutely need more for repairs, we can run back and get it. All right, just a couple more pieces I wanted to upgrade here. One, two, three, four. Five and six, and that's it. Okay, we gotta hook up one more door, and then we're done, we're ready. On face rotation, just like so. Okay, we have three functional fighting positions now. All right, let's get some guns and ammo. I'm gonna combine these shotguns, see if I can, yep, t level 28, that's good. All right, my friends, the day 14 horde approaches, so say a prayer, ring the bell, and lock and load. And as darkness falls, we pray for courage and protection in the face of our enemies. We are the Order of Steel, and we fear no evil. For we live in the valley of the shadow of death, and evil will fear us. <laughs> Each passing day is another step toward the darkness. Can you feel it approaching, Tamreki? <laughs> All right, the electric fences did not last very long at all. They are already cooked and they're just going to annoy me all night long. Can I just, whoops, I didn't quite mean to do that, but whoa. Oh my God, they're pushing through the floor already. That is bad news. I do have a little bit of concrete. Maybe I'll just make a little pad here so I know I don't fall through the floor because yeah, look, they're shooting at me from below. Oh geez, now my nail gun is broken. Okay. You guys, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh boy, okay, drop them off. I gotta go get a repair kit and repair that nail gun. Oh my God, we've gotta do some stat repairs over here. Okay, this is um, this is not gonna be terribly easy and we are on the clock right now. One there, rotate around, one there, drop her off again. Oh, they're just breaking stuff. And yes, upgrade before they continue. Why are you guys jumping so much? Stop that, get out of here. Jeez, okay, maybe I bring them over to this side temporarily while I'm working over here. Now I got a radiated zombie dog in the way. Lovely, okay, yes, they seem to be working around to the other side now. There we go, okay. We are good to go here. Well, almost. <laughs> I'm just gonna put whatever block I can there just to block them off. Okay, we're good to go on this side. Get away from this side and I'll repair this before we head back over. Okay, that's better. What is going on here? What blew up? Here we go, just just drop them off. I, I, they stack up so fast here. I think we've got to do away with the door system and do like, oh geez, a centered security gate system or something. 
I don't want that loot bag. I want them to take a break and catch on fire a little bit. And, oh, okay, I gotta get a workflow down here. Bring them over to this side, maybe? Do some repairs here? I leveled up there a second ago, but I, I don't have time right now to check on skill points. Okay, yep, repair that door. Don't want to lose that. And uh, what's going on here? They're on this side. All right, take a break. Over to this side. Okay, someone's gonna blow up. It's a big man right there. There, I think I got him down. All right. Too, too much, too much going on. I might need to go get some steel, honestly, from the, the advanced forge there and do some steel upgrades here on the front because they, oh crap, they are just doing too much damage too fast. Um, yeah, take a break. Um, <laughs> take some fire. I'm gonna go get some steel. I don't think I have very many of it. There's five in the box there and there's 34 in there. That'll be enough to at least get this front position upgraded. There we go, one, two, and I'll leave that one on the top because it's the wrong block. Okay, and that's good. How about over here? One, and that's all we get for now. Okay, and we got some birds here. Maybe I'll, my God, there's just so many zombies. I'll also maybe do some repairs. Oh boy, they are, the birds are making, doing some damage there. Okay, what do we got here? Fighting over here now. Yep, there's just, it's too, too much, too much up here. Too many zombies, they are pushing really hard and I'm out of stamina. Okay, um, no, I need to take a break. Take a break, take a break. All right, I'm feeling good now. Bring them back up to the front position here. We've got a Night Stalker, okay. That, got that to worry about. Oh, a freaking bear, whoa, man. Um, okay, I can't do the fire because if I do the fire, I won't be able to melee. Uh, I suppose we could do, a little bit of fire and a little bit of gunfire here. Now they're just gonna blow up. Big Mamas are gonna blow up. Oh man, there's just too many zombies that explode. Okay, before you blow, drop them off. Okay. They still just wanna jump straight over. Okay, okay. I can do melee again. That's good. Oh, can we kill that bear please? Preferably not with that weapon there. Okay, almost got the bear down there. Maybe we do some fire now. There we go. Uh, maybe I try to distract him and bring him over to this side a little bit. I can hear the birds like bouncing. Oh, we've lost power because I lost the middle light here. It's okay, we can still see relatively well here. Drop them off again. Bring them over to this flank if we can. Yep, they seem to, if they have a a door open, they seem to convert straight over there pretty quickly. All right, well, if anything, we'll have a good opportunity here tonight to, ooh, good loot back here, to work on our machine gun skill. Okay, just, it's not doing enough damage here, unfortunately. Okay, drop them off, send some fire after them, and bring them back over to this side. Do some repairs while I'm right here with the limited steel I have left. I am rolling on some more though, so some more will be um, available to us as the night goes on. Repair, repair, repair. That is the name of the game. Oh my god, we got feral whites here now and just many, many bears and a lot of birds too. Okay, this is like an animal wave here because it's all radiated dogs, birds, and freaking bears and night stalkers now. That's what we have to deal with. Okay, drop them off and that hurt. Send some fire out there for him. What's going on with the bird situation here? Okay, yeah, you gotta move around a little bit because the birds, if, if you focus on one spot, they'll break all the spikes. I can hear them smashing spikes now. Try and kite the birds over this way and see if we can, you know, bring them into the spikes a little bit more. The longer I do this, the longer I realize that Jason's machete is just not the tool for this kind of a job here. And um, we're definitely gonna have to think of a better solution for the birds because they are... I don't even think we're halfway through the night and they're they're already poking holes through the ceiling here. I actually, maybe what I'll do is open that up and whoop. Yep, oh, caught myself on fire a little bit. Nah, that's okay, I got some water. Yep, I think I burned a few of the birds. What I really want to do is just send a Molotov up there to catch them on fire. And while I'm at it, catch you guys on fire because I got to work on first aid here for a second. In fact, I got to go get some first aid kits. All right, bringing them back over to this side here. It's, um potentially the strongest position I have at this present moment. Oh, jeez, I almost died. That, whoa, 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 I fell down in the hole. No, none of that. Painkiller, and oh my God, there's a demo here now. Get out of here, go go down. What's breaking? Oh, okay, we gotta plug these holes before we get um, 
birds swooping down on us. There we go. Okay, they are about to carve a massive hole in this side. No, oh boy. Here we go. All right, back to the front position, I guess. Do what I can for repairs. That's uh, that's it for steel, though. I'm out. Okay, once more into the breach here. Well, not breach. But hopefully, we don't get any breaches here tonight. Okay, here we go. Kill a couple of these bears. Get them out of the way. I, I just, I don't have the DPS right now. We, we need to get away from the melee, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much done with the melee because... Ah, man, it's just not doing enough damage fast enough and I have to worry about stamina. I don't have any coffee. I can't cook coffee. Oh, jeez. Okay. Drop them off. Getting a little <laughs> a little heavy up here with freaking four bears. Okay, we've, we've lost lights. I just saw the lights go out. That's not good. They might have damaged um, some spotlights, those birds that are up there. Almost guarantee it. All right, I have to make a trip inside to see if I can get some more steel. We have 60 more steel there. All right, we can do some more upgrades and repairs out front. All right, how about we bring them up to this position here now that I can make this out of steel. There we go. Okay, that's that's better. Improvement. How about we do this side in steel as well since we can. And uh, yeah, save the, the, the remaining 14 for upgrades, uh, for repairs, I should say. Ah, oh crap. Oh boy, the birds are in, the birds are in. Open fire! Ah, run! I'm critically dehydrated right now, so start working on some red tea. Okay, everyone's been dropped off. Where's the breach with the birds? Here it is. Die! Die, birds! Ah, the, the gun's broken. I don't have any more repair kits right now. I'm just not prepared for this kind of volume here. This is the threat level. Um has exponentially increased since last week. Demo up front here. I can see the sun starting to come up. We might just pull through on this one. Although, I will say, if, um, if it turns daylight, ah, I'm gonna get in the motorcycle and get the hell out of here. I think it is daylight. I think we've done it. We've held. I'm retreating. Get out of here. Okay, um, let's take a beer. Beer is good for drinking. It's not good. I don't recommend drinking and driving, but right now I don't have any choice. I am fleeing this base. I don't even know what's left of the base. Um, it's it's not looking too terribly bad here. I think I think um, we can come back from this, but for now I'm leaving. Okay, if we get far enough away, hopefully they they will disperse and we won't have to deal with the rest of them. <laughs> my goodness. I appreciate you guys watching my back out there today. I'm um, just going to kind of circle around here. Might head over to the trader and see how he's doing. See if he made it through the night. And uh, we'll pick things up a little bit later on this morning. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.